Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil and in this React navigation video, we will make example and understand that how stack navigation is work. And we will obviously do this thing in the React native. So now maybe you have a question here, why we are mentioned here version 5. The reason is if you are using the React navigation uh, 5, then this is a totally different from the previous version, means of version 4, 3, 2 and all, alright and it has a completely new documentation as well as the new structure and how we can use and all everything is new that's why i am just going to make the new series on the react navigation otherwise for the react uh, navigation 4 i already have the other videos so let's check out the points of this video so uh, as you know in the previous video we already see that how we can install the uh, react navigation fifth version but uh, we don't see have example and implement it line by line so we will implement it step by step now so first of all we will just import the two navigation package one is the navigation container and second one is the stack navigator right so after that we have to define a container we will make it i will show you that how we can make it and we have to at least two component to move between the screens so that we can show the navigation from one screen to two second screen so we will make a two uh, screens, one for uh, home and another one for the detail. And uh, as I told you, and on a button click, we will just move between the screens. So now let's come back here and let's import the things. So first of all, I am just going to import something from at the rate, uh, uh, at the rate React Navigation Native. Right, and after that we have to import something from uh, it's not from yeah it's from iterate react native stack perfect after just using them we have I, I have to just uh, execute uh, all right so first of all I have to just import the classes and the functions so I am just going to import here navigation container and in a stack navigation I am just going to import the create not react create again what's going on create stack navigator all right so now let's uh, make make a container now so for making the container we have to just jump in the app and uh, let's make a wrapper with the navigation container all right and let's close it also like this now after using this we have to define here the stack screen and navigation all right so first of all i am just going to take a variable with the name of stack uh, let's take uh, capital s and it will uh, access the create navigation navigator function and now i can just simply put here stack dot navigator and in this navigator we have to define the screens so just use here stack dot screen and screen name i don't have screen defined yet so i will just put it later as well as the component so we have to define the component here also all right and let's close it now let's make the two component one for the home and another for the detail so that we can just move the screens so just define here a uh, normal function function home screen and on the home screen let's uh, return jsx like this and let's take the break brackets view and inside the view uh, is uh, important that imported so let's import the view first of all yeah that's fine and now let's uh, take a text or something all right and just write here uh, home screen yep now i can use this screen as an component here and i can just put the name like any name i can put here let's say i am just putting it the home okay so now let's refresh it <laughs> navigator only contains screen components it's okay so let me check what's wrong here 
yeah it, it is nothing wrong here it's just a refresh within a moment that's why it's just showing the errors otherwise everything is same all right so let's define the same one more screen with the name of detail okay the line is not copied now let's copy this line and paste here and let's copy this screen component home screen component and make one more let's say details and uh, let's make the detail component screen now let's replace this screens home screen with the detail screen and the name also of the component details now here you can see that the home component so let's say if you just want to make the detail component as an first or first loaded component so that you can uh, just simply define here initial route name and here let's put here details and when you just put it we have to make it refresh i don't know why i have to refresh it but still hot loading is here all right so now you can just make the default component whatever you just want to make so but i would like to make home component as an um, by default component or first loaded component okay so now let's make a button here like this and on this button click I am just going to click on this button and I want to navigate on the detail screen All right so just put here title and in the title let's write here go to details screen is it right no because uh, okay so I have to just close it now that's right and now let's take the navigation as in props here and let's choose here on press event on press and let's take a uh, 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 navigation dot dot navigate function and let's pass a component name where you just want to navigate so I want to navigate on a details component so now let's click on it now you can see that we are able to go on the detail and we can come back here all right so now let's uh, just just add some little bit style also so just add a style and uh, in this style uh, I can just add a flex one and justified content like center and after that uh, let's make the align items also center so that we can see everything in the center okay so what's wrong with the align items okay i have to choose it like an object my bad all right so now this is in the completely center and now it's looking looking more pretty so thanks for watching this video if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye take care